Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to 27 Camels Hump Road in Petersham, Massachusetts. My name is Chuck Baraby and of Baraby Real Estate, and I have the honor of representing this property for sale on behalf of the owners. So where is Petersham, you might ask? Well, if you look at this picture, this of the map of Massachusetts, you will see Boston over on the far right. Uh, it is truly the heart of the, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. But if you follow Route 2 out west, you see this prominent body of water in the middle that is actually Boston's reservoir. It's called the Quabbin Reservoir. And Petersham is just located at the northeast corner of the Quabbin Reservoir land. This reservoir is 11 miles long and, excuse me, 22 miles long and 11 miles wide. And it really dominates this entire part of the state and everything is carefully protected so as to preserve the quality of water. Now, Petersham, as you can see here, um, is not a very busy uh, town. We don't have any really large, significant highways anywhere near it. We have some good roads, state roads, that pass through, and so it's fairly easy to get places, especially using Route 2. 27 Campbell's Hump Road is literally right beside the Quabbin Reservoir property called the Reservation. It's the big buffered area that protects the watershed that keeps the water pure for Boston's water supply. It is right beside this reservation. And there's a lot of protected land here to protect this water and it is uh, dominated by the green, which is Harvard Forest, and the red, which is trustees of the reservation. And there's also a part of Mass Audubon property, the purple down at the bottom. But there's also many, many large parcels owned by families who have for generations protected carefully the property that they own in Petersham and the surrounding area. Uh, we're not the only ones who care about this. The Quabbin Reservoir, the Department of Conservation and Recreation, is the gold land. And that is a dominant factor in the preservation of this land. No wonder the state says 80% of the land in Petersham is permanently protected from development. This is part of the Petersham Common you can see the Greek Revival buildings. They were put up by the Parmenter brothers back in the 1840s. The one with the big black sign is our country store. Really just an absolute gem. This is a gathering place. This is a very large town common. That's the town hall in the background. And we've just taken a right-hand turn past the Unitarian Church and Davis Hall in the back. We're driving down West Street, approaching uh, a street called uh, 122, 122 New Salem Road, where the uh, crossover will be onto West Road. So here we are approaching the crossover of New Salem Road, and West Street will become West Road very shortly. And you'll see some of the beautiful old farmhouses on the left and right that were evident back in the early days when people had large tracts of land and there were fewer houses in town. This is a particularly pretty area of West Road with some nice homes on both the left and the right. And we are approaching one of the larger cemeteries in Petersham, the West Road Cemetery. It'll be here on your left. As you can see, we've slowed down a bit. And at the far side of the cemetery is the entrance to Campbell's Hump Road. We should be able to get you a close up of the street sign so you can see exactly uh, how it looks as you'll be approaching this. Now, Campbell's Hump Road is a town road and is quite well maintained, but it is a dirt road, but it is kept open year round, uh, maintained and plowed because there are three houses on this road. The last one being 27 Campbell's Hump Road, the property that is being offered for sale. Uh, the, uh, excuse me, there are three other houses in addition to 27 Campbell's Hump Road. So it is well taken care of. And there is some distance between this last house on the left before you reach the entranceway to uh, Campbell's Hump. And here we are entering the driveway now. 
This is what you see when you come into the driveway of 27 Campbell Sump Road. It's a beautiful home. Uh, the center is the original camp that was built by Gabe Recos back in the 50s. And the additions to the left and right, there are two additions to the right, were done by the current owners, the Rubin family. Gabe Recos was famous for building things well. I have to own a house that he built and I can vouch for that. There's the back. You can see a beautiful addition that is a three season porch that has the um, added value of giving you a fabulous view of the uh, backyard property. This is simply the south side of the property. The north side of the property, and you can see the pool in the background and the beautiful blue sky. This is the living room. Notice there's all knotty pine throughout the entire interior walls. Uh, the fireplace is a heat fireplace, one that brings in the cold air down low with the grates that are down near the floor and puts out warm air up at the top of the grates. So this is more than just a standard fireplace. Very well done. This is the kitchen. It is, has been used as a seasonal property. So the kitchen is not expansive, but it is fully functional. It has all the basics in it. Uh, there is no dishwasher currently, but I'm sure you could modify things to accomplish that. You can see where the three season porch is to the left in this picture. And you can see one of the many updated windows. Not all the windows in this property have been updated because some of them were in very good condition. So they simply left them. They were done at different times with the additions, but some upgrades have been done. And as you're looking straight down this corridor, this through the doorway of the kitchen, you see the extensive two additions that were done to the south. And we'll show you more, we'll walk you right down there. So this is the first and oldest bathroom in the house. It is the first one that you encounter off of the hallway that goes from the living room past the kitchen door into the free season room. Continuing down the hallway, you see closets on the right. This is the first bedroom you encounter on that. It is a nice, you know, two double beds, uh, nice space, good size. Good closet space, amazing amount of closet space in this house. Uh, this is the second full bathroom. Uh, is as you can see, something probably from the 50, uh, 80s, perhaps. Uh, a little more updated than the first one that you saw. This is the second bedroom in the new wing to the south. Uh, nice double bed. Again, nice closets. Skylight giving you some beautiful natural light. And back down the corridor again toward the master suite, which is the most recent addition. This is just a little alcove where they took advantage of the space, put a huge amount of closet space, and they just happen to have a telescope there to check into the animals that are going into the, uh, the open area beyond the, the pool, where they have a fabulous view of where some wildlife sometimes collect. I'll just uh, show you what the inside of that closet is like. This is the master bedroom. It's very large, uh, 16 by 14, I believe, if I remember the measurements correctly. Very nice size, size very nice uh, closet space as well. It's still all the knotty pine and the pine floors. This is the master bathroom. Uh, again, significant upgrade from the other two in beautiful condition. Uh, again, one of the newer windows, uh, you know, a slider that is thermal. This is a bedroom on the other side of the house, which is probably one of the first additions. Um, it's on the north side of the house and just has a single bed and then a couple of bunk beds. So lots of room for sleeping. Now, this is the door between that first bathroom that you saw to your right and the kitchen to your left. The back right behind you when you're looking at this would be the front door in the living room. And you're looking through this glass door that goes into the three season room and here you are. It's a great space, a uh, great entertainment space, lots of room, lots of visibility to the outside and this beautiful gas grill that was installed so that they could use it as kind of a summer kitchen. Lots of beautiful sitting space, a bit rustic, very nice. 
Oh, the gas grill close up. Uh, doesn't look like it's gotten much use. This is looking at that wall that was to your back uh, as you were coming into the three season porch. You can see the, uh, the updated window on the right that goes into the kitchen. So this is the back of the house from the other perspective. So you can see the angle of the, um, the free season room and how it's attached to the house. And as you can see to the right, there's room for a lot of cars here. There's the pool on your left and the, ex the openness of the backyard, which is wonderful. The great room to play, just wonderful room to play or have parties outside if you had to have a tent or something like that for excessive uh, number of people like a wedding or whatever. Uh, again, just a view from a different side of the house, looking at the backyard. And this is how big the backyard is. I'm pretty much way down at the edge of where the woods begin, taking a picture back up of the house to show you this, to show you how expansive it is. Oh, these two. Um, these are metal sculptors uh, that were installed by the Rubens. Uh, it's a couple of horses. And it's amazing how many people have driven by and thought that they were live horses at a quick glance. Um, let me back up a little bit because I want you to see the water in the background. This beyond them is uh, an openness that uh, Alan Rubin accomplished so that you can see the water. There's a beautiful pond back there. Close up of the sculptor. Uh, the pool, um, beautiful in-ground pool, 20 by 40. Very well maintained, uh, even though no one is there using it. It's still fully maintained and serviced. It has a solar cover on it right now to uh, re uh, reduce the amount of evaporation so that they don't have to constantly have someone adding water to the pool. Uh, this shows the distance to the back of the house from the fence that surrounds the pool. Oh, these sheds. Um, great storage. Uh, you could fit a car in the one to the right. There are a couple of electric vehicles in the one in the middle, and then all the pool equipment and lawnmower in the one to the left. Uh, this is the, uh, the large one where you could literally put a vehicle in if you needed to. This is the second one. You've got a couple of electric vehicles here. And by the way, they come with the property. All contents are included. One of them is an eight passenger electric vehicle. It's not very old. The other is a six passenger. This is the shed that has the uh, lawnmower in it usually with just some bikes and just general paraphernalia for the, for the property. This is a one year old uh, mule, they call it. It's a Kawasaki vehicle. Uh, great four wheel drive, all terrain vehicle for enjoying this property and driving on the roads. Now you should know the DCR restriction on this land says you're not supposed to be driving vehicles on these roads, even the owner. But uh, the owner has been able to do so uh, as long as nothing is being violated or abused um, ever since this deal was made. So that's a matter between you and the DCR. Just another view of the front of the house. And I wanted you to see how these roads are like. This is the road coming in, and this is a road in the property itself. The land has miles of roads like this that have been well created and very well maintained by local people. And this is just the woods that are at the beginning of the, um, the woods at the end of the, of the backyard behind the house. This is the meadow that's beyond the two deer, and there's an elk st a statue in the woods. That th uh, there's the close-up. This is a beautiful work of art. It's almost like a Remington. It's so gorgeous, but it's massive, and it's not a Remington. Uh, but I know he spent a lot of money on it, and they, they had to have a, a crane bring it in. This is a beaver pond that has been created of the water flow of Fever Brook. It's beautiful. It's a place where you'll find... Uh, egrets and great blue herons and otters and beavers, of course, because it is a beaver pond. It's nice fishing. It's magnificent to have it in your backyard and far enough away that it's not an insect problem. This is a road that is on the property itself that we showed you a still of earlier. 
these are beautifully maintained. They're great walking paths. Uh, the current owners welcome public passing on the property without motors, uh, bicyclists, cross-country skiers, hikers. You can see that the, the nature of the road changes in some places where the vegetation changes. And the owners have placed benches in some strategic locations where there's nice places to sit and view some of nature and enjoy the peaceful tranquility. This is Fever Brook. And this is a beaver cheater, beaver deceiver to keep the waters flowing because you can see there's a little bit of a waterfall. And this is the big pond that feeds into that area. Now we're gonna show you a little bit of a, an elevated view of this property so that you can gain a perspective of where it is. You can see all the roof lines and how beautifully it was all tied together with the additions. And as we go up higher, we'll tilt a little bit out to the expanse so you can see the amazing amount of woods that this is in the middle of. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of acres of woods with very few houses uh, within sight of this property. Um, and all of them stopping before you reach this property. This is the last house on a dead end road. These are some of the neighbors in the general area of where you are in this state. Some of the neighbors are just beautiful and the neighbors are great. But you can see this is a very wooded area. Uh, the town steeples, I uh, can't quite see them, but they're about in that hill there. So they're just on the other side of that hill, so we can't quite see them. Uh, but now you're starting to see the waters of the Quabbin Reservoir itself. So with just a little bit of elevation, you can see this. This is the land. The total land was 95 acres. The triangle to the left is what has been kept without any restriction whatsoever. The rest of the land, all development rights have been permanently sold to the DCR, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This was done in 2002. Um, this is a paradise. You can see north of the land is the um, Harvard Forest, and below is the Department of Conservation and Recreation, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, excuse me, it was called the Metropolitan District Commission back then, now it's the DCR. This land can never be spoiled. If this is where you wanna be, you won't find another place like it. This property truly is one of the crown jewels of Petersham, which is in itself just a wonderful community that almost looks like a Norman Rockwell painting. And because of the existence of the Quabbin Reservoir and the importance of the integrity of the water supply to Boston, this is an area that is very unlikely to ever be spoiled. So if what you seek is a peaceful, tranquil, nature-filled environment for your home or your country escape, you can't do much better than Peter Sam. And it certainly is easily accessible from the Boston area. We traveled into Cambridge and Boston for theater at night, avoiding, of course, the rush hour crowds in about an hour and 18 minutes. So it's not bad. Route 2 is a good road. So if you'd like more information, please check out bearerberealestate.com. Uh, you can also uh, please contact me with any questions you have, chuck at bearerberealestate.com, or feel free to call or text me at 978-837-1106. We always welcome your inquiries. Um, please let us know if you'd like to come out and see it. It is very easy to arrange as I literally live barely a mile away from this property and uh, would welcome an opportunity to meet you and see if you think this could become one of your new properties. 978-837-1106. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you.